Welcome to the information session for the Aerospace Engineering undergraduate degree at the University of Texas at Austin. While you are here, you will learn more about our department and what we feel sets us apart from other schools you might be considering in your search for a university home. Hopefully you started with our video before this information session. If not, please feel free to watch it now or plan to watch it after you finish this presentation. As you may have seen in our video, students in our department have a wide variety of hands-on opportunities. They are encouraged to get involved with projects and organizations from day one of their college experience. At other schools, these opportunities are often reserved or restricted to seniors or even graduate students, but here in Austin, students learn by doing. They are often mentored by juniors or seniors who have worked their way up to leadership positions and department faculty are available as technical advisors. Through these groups and projects, students gain valuable experience while they are in school. Two of these groups were featured in the video, the Longhorn Rocketry Association, or LRA, and the Women in Aerospace for Leadership and Development, or WILD. The Longhorn Rocketry Association is a student-run amateur rocketry group. Their mission is to enhance undergraduate education by applying classroom knowledge to design, build, and launch their own rockets. To learn more about their group, check out their website at longhornrocketry.org. The Women in Aerospace for Leadership and Development group seeks to provide confidence and support that will empower all women in the aerospace field of study to succeed at any hands-on endeavor. They have new projects they work on each year, rotating between the various applications in the field of aerospace engineering. Men are more than welcome to join the group as well. To learn more about WILD, as well as all of the other student organizations and projects, check out the Student Involvement page on our department website. UT Austin is a research institution, and all of our tenure-track faculty are or have been involved with research. While the hands-on projects we just talked about work on concepts that other people know and have done before, research is the exploration of the unknown. In our department, we have five research areas, aerothermodynamics and fluid mechanics, computational mechanics, controls autonomy and robotics, orbital mechanics, and solid structures and materials. Students are allowed to be involved in any area of research that appeals to their interest. Most faculty will prefer that their student volunteers be in their third or fourth year in order to have as much educational background as possible, but there are a few who will allow students as early as the first year to be involved in their research groups. One of the more popular research groups, the Texas Spacecraft Laboratory, or TSL, was featured in the video. In the TSL, undergraduate and graduate students work together to design, fabricate, test, and operate space-based tools. The TSL has traditionally focused on the creation of small satellites and has seen various missions launched into Earth orbit. When students are involved with research, they also have the option to earn credit for their involvement that we use towards the technical electives of the degree. Here at UT, many students will choose to spend a summer or a semester studying abroad. While the university has an overarching study abroad office, we also have our own International Engineering Education Office for the Cockrell School of Engineering. This office has selected and established dozens of programs for engineering students to choose from that are direct equivalents to engineering coursework and are all taught in English. Many of these programs are exchange programs, which means you pay UT Austin tuition and fees, but you take the courses abroad. Thus, the costs associated beyond tuition and fees are primarily for housing, food, and airfare. When compared to the cost of living in Austin, it is often comparable, if not less, than it costs to live in Austin. There are many scholarships available to engineering students that will, at a minimum, cover the cost of airfare. Also, if you are receiving financial aid, you are still eligible to use your aid to cover expenses abroad. Several of our programs are taught by UT faculty who lead the trip and incorporate educational and cultural field trips and excursions during the time abroad. For aerospace students wanting to spend an entire semester abroad, we have established equivalent schedules for the spring semester of the junior year at TU Delft in the Netherlands and at University of Sheffield in England. Students are certainly welcome to choose other programs, but we will not be able to guarantee a full schedule of equivalent courses that will count toward the degree. 
Another option for an abroad experience is a program called Projects for Underserved Communities, or PUC. PUC is a collaborative effort between the School of Social Work and the Cockrell School of Engineering. This is a unique program that combines the two challenges of community need and student enrichment in an innovative, project-based, service learning environment. Students will participate in a year-long course while researching and designing projects in response to community needs. They collaborate with a local partner and then travel to the community to implement the project during the summer following the completion of the academic course. In the picture on the right, Wayne Sherilyn went to Tanzania to build 10 stalls of toilets for an albino community. The locations vary every year. This past year, the three teams went to Thailand, India, and Guatemala. So there are many opportunities to gain a global experience while you are a student here, as early as the summer after the first year and all the way until the summer after your third year. Currently, aerospace engineering at UT Austin is ranked number eight in the United States. When you look at our collegiate company in the top 10, you will see an extreme bang for the buck. If you are a Texas resident, this is even more evident with our tuition and fees coming in at a fraction of the cost of other schools in the top 10. Even as a non-Texas resident, we are quite comparable to all of our competitors. We hope that you will take this information to see that we still have an incredible program despite the lower price tag. Just think of all that saved money that can be used on the great food and music festivals that make Austin famous. But seriously, the decision of where you should ultimately go should be based on where you feel most comfortable and where you want to spend the next four years of your life. We encourage you to explore more about Austin before making the decision, but we can safely say that very few of our alumni regret choosing UT Austin. On the note of alumni, let's talk about careers. We consider our degree program to be very interdisciplinary, more of a systems engineering approach, preparing our graduates to be the ultimate project managers. As an example, let's consider an airplane. There are many systems that go into making an airplane fly. You have the structure of the plane and the analytics that consider stress and strain. You have the propulsion of the plane and the jet engines or other methods that allow the plane to move. You have the aerodynamics of the plane that allow for more efficient use of resources. You have the control systems of the plane that keep it operating and going where it needs to go. You have the materials of the plane ensuring a proper choice of what works best at 40,000 feet in the air. You put all of these considerations together to make one system run together smoothly, and this is what an aerospace engineer is equipped to do. Thus, with training across the board, our alumni are able to work in many different fields. In fact, only about half of our alumni work in the aerospace industry. This chart shows you the distribution of fields that typically hire our students. Let's expand this to see some specifics. Our degree includes a lot of computational analysis and math. This allows our students, in many cases, to be prepared to work at companies like Amazon or Google, where data analytics are important. Our degree also includes at least four classes in thermodynamics and aerodynamics, as well as coursework in structural analysis. This background, combined with the computational analysis, makes our alumni great candidates for the oil and gas industry. By the nature of the importance of aerospace and national defense, we have many students working for the Air Force and other military entities, either as commissioned officers or as civilians. Consulting is another field that has hired many of our students. Both financial and engineering analysis involves key skill sets that our students learn while they are here. Over on the aerospace side, we want to make clear that while some alumni do work at NASA, Boeing, or Lockheed Martin, there are many other companies that hire our students as well. The aerospace industry is becoming more and more privatized, and many companies will contract for the big names. In engineering, we have a wonderful office called the Engineering Career Assistance Center, or ECAC. ECAC helps students from the very beginning to help with searches for internships, cooperative educational experiences, or co-ops for short, and full-time placement. ECAC also helps run two career expos every year, each of which hosts hundreds of companies recruiting our engineering students for all sorts of positions. In short, we feel confident in the employability of our graduates. 
This is what we call the degree flow chart. It shows all of the coursework required for the Bachelor of Science in Aerospace Engineering degree. This degree is definitely attainable in four years, and this layout shows how it can be done. Many students will enter with several hours of credit by exam or dual credit. That, along with summer coursework, can help make it even easier to graduate in four years or sometimes even less overall time. The first two years of our curriculum are very similar to many engineering degree plans. Aerospace, computational, mechanical, civil, architectural, and petroleum engineering. It is a third year where you start focusing on specific aerospace coursework. Here at UT, you will choose your major when you apply for admission. Although it is possible to change your major while you're here, it is not guaranteed. There is an internal transfer process in place for applications and GPA is very important to keep as high as possible to increase your likelihood of transfer. In the third and fourth year of the aerospace curriculum, you will be able to select a technical area to focus on. You will choose either atmospheric flight or space flight. Your choice will indicate what you take to fulfill the tech area requirements listed on this degree plan. No matter what you select, however, you will still end up with a Bachelor of Science in Aerospace Engineering. Neither your diploma nor your transcript will indicate your degree track. We thank you for your interest in our degree program and encourage you to stay plugged in to the department by liking us on Facebook or following us on Twitter or Instagram. If you have any additional questions not answered from this presentation, our Frequently Asked Question Guide, or the other resources we have provided, please feel free to email us at ase.advising at utexas.edu. Thanks and hook'em.